Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can make 3D characters hold or leave objects using constraints in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description, okay? So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 2.93, nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's start this by importing our character along with the animation. So in order to import, go to this file, import, it is an FBX file. So select this FBX and look at your file, just select that file and import FBX. So here I got this character along with the animation from Mixamo. So if you want to learn how to download characters along with the animation, you can click on the I cut above or else you can check the link in the description for the tutorial. So now let's scale this up. So set the armature, press S and increase the scale. Okay, nice. So now if I expand this one here, you can see we got the keyframes. So we got animation here. Okay. So I think this animation lasts for 520 frames. So I'll make this timeline to 520. Okay. So here you can see we got this animation where this character is trying to lift the weight. Okay. So let me move on to this frame where you can observe this hand. So let me zoom it up here. So at this frame, the character is holding the bar. So I will be on this 81st frame. Okay. So being on this frame, let's model our weight. So first let me select the arm and so let me hide it out. So let me create a ground plane. So go to this add mesh, select a plane here, press S and increase the scaling of this plane. And let me enable this cavity and shadows. Okay, nice. So now let's model the weight. So go to this add mesh, select cylinder and let me increase the vertices to 128. Okay. Now press S and reduce the scaling of this cylinder like this. Now press S and Z and increase the scaling here like this okay so i think this is enough now let me rotate this one so press r y 90 okay so press 3 for side view so now i need to place this bar in the hands of the character so let me move tool select this and let me place this here okay so here you can see we got this bar in the hand of our character nice so now let's add weight. So for this also we will be using cylinder. So go to this add mesh select cylinder. So let me place this here. Now press R Y 90 to rotate this one. Press 3 for side view and let me place this. So enable X-ray vision and let me place this here. Okay. So now let me reduce the scaling in X axis. So press S and X and reduce the scaling in X axis like this. Now press one for front view and let me place the weight here. Okay. Now let me smooth it out. So right click shade smooth. Come to this object properties and normals and enable this auto smooth option. Okay. So now select this weight. Duplicate it by pressing shift plus D. Press X to move it side in X axis. Press S and reduce the scaling here a bit. So we got our weights. So now select all the weights. Hold shift key and select all the weights here. Press Ctrl plus J to join them. And let me place the origin to geometry. Okay. So now we need to mirror these weights on the other side. So for that, select the weights. Come to this modifier options. Add modifier and add mirror modifier. So in mirror object, select this cylinder and enable this Z axis also. So here you can see we got the weights on other side and now let's apply the modifier. Okay. So now these weights are one object and this cylinder is one object. So now again, select these weights. Now this cylinder control plus J to join them. Okay. So now this is single object. Nice. So now let's see how we can make this weight attach to the character while it is trying to lift okay so beyond this 81 frame so at this 81st frame the character is holding this bar okay so beyond that frame so make sure we have selected the weight okay now come to this constraints property add object constraint and select this child 
off okay so here let me bring back this armature so when we download this character along with the animation we will get the armature okay so in target we need to select the armature and let me select the armature bone viewport and bring it front okay so now being selected this armature move on to this pose mode and let me check the bone here so this is let me bring it mixer mode rig one right hand okay so remember the bone so now let me move on to this object mode select the weight where we have applied the constraints so come to this constraint properties so in bone we need to select the particular bone so let me select that bone so it is mixer mode rig one and it is right hand so so this is the bone so select that bone and click on this set inverse okay so if i play this now you can see the object will be attached to the character from the starting onwards so here we don't want that so let me move on back to this 81 frame okay so here you can see this disable option which is looking i kind just disable this one and press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe okay so now move one frame forward at 80 second frame enable this one and add a keyframe so now if i play this you can see the character will not hold it so at that point it starts to hold that weight here nice we want the character to leave this object here so i will make the character to leave the object at 485th frame so beyond that frame okay add a keyframe once again here so move your cursor onto this symbol press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe so now come to the next frame that is 486 disable that one and add a keyframe okay so now if i play this you can see the character will leave the weight bar here but here the position is bit changing so we can fix that let me select this armature let me hide it out we don't need that now so now select the weight so at 485th frame you can check the position and at next frame it is shifting its position so we need to fix that so beyond that 485th frame okay select the weight press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for this location so now move to the next frame and now manually we need to adjust the position so i think this position will be good and again press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for this location okay so now if i play this we got the character it will be lifting the weight now you can see and it will be picking that up so nice doing it stunts and dropping that one so now we can see we don't have that much of movement in the location of this weight so let me select the weight come to this properties and auto smooth okay so in this way we can make our 3d characters hold or leave objects in blender using constraints easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye